I've always had quite a fascination with high voltage power supplies and I wanted to make something that would showcase a high voltage arc without being dangerous. Now that's a hard thing to do because obviously anything that uses high voltage power supplies can be quite dangerous. Um, when I was younger I did mess around with microwave oven transformers quite a bit but they are not current limited and they produce a whole lot of current um, and they can be really quite dangerous. So I've assembled a Jacob's Ladder using a neon sign transformer. I've just acquired a couple of these ones here. Um, this one here is nine kilovolts, but it uses a center tap. So it's uh, 4.5 kilovolts to earth. And then there's another tap that's 4.5 kilovolts to uh, center tap. And then you've got, if you use both the taps, then you've got nine kilovolts. The transformer that's up there is 15,000 volts. So that's got two um, 7.5 kilovolt taps. But I've decided for this project, it's better to use the low voltage transformer. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. What I've done is I've used an old clock enclosure. So you've got the old... Um, 300 day clocks or whatever they are the anniversary clocks they um they've got a little pendulum that spins around i've modified one of those to to make this really nice looking jacob's ladder so the two brass support rods here is where the current is supplied on and uh, these funny enough these came from bunnings these are just um draw handles but they're made out of porcelain, so they're a perfect insulator. By all means, they are an insulator. And that's just to stop the high voltage getting close to the base and burning burning things. Again, the, the, the point of this Jacob's Ladder is to be as safe as possible. So I'm gonna plug this in now and give you a quick demonstration. Um, this tube in the front here is actually a Xeon flash tube. It's out of a strobe light, so up here, got a strobe light it's exactly the same lamp as that's in there and that's been used as a ballast so that is limiting the current that goes to the Jacob's ladder to make it even even more safe um, there's a few more things I need to do to this to make it perfect I want to build an enclosure that actually houses this neon transformer and I need to purchase high tension wire so this wire is actually only rated for 500 volts it does the trick, but you can see some breakdown happening when the transformer's operating. You can see Corona uh, coming off some of it. I know that's almost a controversial term to use now, Corona, but that's the name for the purple uh, high voltage potential that you can see on the other side of this cable. So this cable is definitely not ideal, but this is only temporary for demonstration until I get some high tension cable. I've already ordered some, but it's coming from China, so it's gonna take quite a while to get here anyway that's enough talking let's plug this bad boy in and see how it goes Okay, so I think that'll pretty much conclude this demonstration. Um, as I said, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's only been a couple of days project and it's just one of those, uh, those projects that's just worked out perfectly. There's been, you know, I've used old parts from the clock. I wasn't even expecting to use these, um, these brass rods here, um, but it just happened to all work perfectly and it looks really good, um, almost museum quality. Once I get it in an enclosure, I think it will be museum quality and I'm actually going to take it to the Faraday Center in Napier and see if they are interested in displaying it. Um, yeah, it's, the Faraday Center is like a, a mu electrical museum where they have like Tesla coils and old phone systems, all sorts of stuff that, that that's pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm tempted to take it there. Also in a future video, I will make a video on this. This is a Tesla coil. 
Uh, it's a mu uh, solid state tesla coil that can play music um, using an arc extinguisher or arc interrupter. So stay tuned for that and uh, let me know if you like these kind of videos. I know I normally make fire alarm stuff, but I mean, to be honest, it's nice to have a bit of a variety in, in content. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.